to another video. So, Quen has launched a new model, and it's called Quen 2.5 Max. They say that this model is on par with DeepSeek V3, and they also say that it is a large MOE LLM pre-trained on massive data and post-trained with curated SFT and RLHF recipes. It's quite similar to DeepSeek V3. I mean, they are trying to ride the DeepSeek bandwagon a bit, as it seems from the posts and stuff. They say that it achieves competitive performance against the top-tier models and outcompetes DeepSeek V3 in benchmarks like Arena Hard, LiveBench, LiveCodeBench, and GPQA Diamond. These are their claims. Now, one of the major things about this model is that it is not open source. Yes, it is a model that you can use through their API, or you can use it on their chat interface, which is a very big bummer for sure. They have shared the benchmarks here, which show that it is better than DeepSeek V3. The model is available on their free chat platform, which is great. And the API for it is also available to try out. So that's great. But this is not open weights, so you'll always have to use their API, which is a very big bummer. But now let's test it and see how well it performs. Before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform that gives you access to more than 10 models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and even image generation models like Flux and video generation models like Kling, and much more, all in one place, for a price that's even cheaper than one chat GPT membership, starting at only $11. Not just that, they have a bunch of AI tools that can help you use these models in intricate ways. They have also recently added an artifacts feature to their platform that now allows you to generate code, preview it, and share it with others using preview links, which is great. It can even run Python code and create charts. You can check them out through the link in the description and make sure to use my coupon code KING25 to get an additional 25% off these already great deals. These are the 13 questions that I'm going to test it against. The first question is, Tell me the name of a country whose name ends with Lia. Give me the capital city of that country as well. The answer should be something like Australia and Canberra. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And this is the correct answer. So, this is fully correct. Let's mark this as a pass. Now the next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer and this is also correct. So, this is also a pass. The next question is, write a haiku where the second letter of each word, when put together, spells simple. Let's send it and see. Okay, so here's the answer, and this is not correct. So, this is not a pass. The next one is, name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has 11 letters in total, and for which all vowels in the word are ordered alphabetically. The answer could be something like transparent. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And this is also not correct at all. So, let's mark this a fail. The next question is, Courtney said that there were 48 people, but Kelly said that Courtney had overstated the number by 20%. If Kelly was right, how many people were there? The answer should be 40. Let's send it and check. This is the answer, and it's correct. Let's mark it as a pass. The next one is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, let's give this a pass. Now, the next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's send it and see. Now, here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, let's mark it as well. The next one is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9. Let's send it and see. Okay, it first gave me the equation, which I asked it to solve, and give me a rounded number. Here's the answer, which is correct. Let's mark it as well. Now, the next question is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. 
you can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and check. Here's the code, and if we run it, you can see that this works pretty well, although it's not as good as DeepSeek's generation. So, this is also a pass. The next question is, create a playable synth keyboard using HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer. And if we run this, it also works well and produces the correct sound. So, this is a pass. The next one is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And if we preview this, then this looks good. Let's mark it a pass as well. The next one is, create me a 3D circle that moves and loops endlessly in 3D space using HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer. And if we run this, then this works fine, although still not as good as DeepSeek V3. So, let's mark it a pass as well. Now the final question is, write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the code. Let's copy and run it. Okay, this also works well. So, this is also a pass. Now this is the final chart. So, I think that this model is good, but it's not close to DeepSeek V3 at all. I mean, it's mainly the fact that the code quality that I see in my test just seems subpar, and I think that their data set is just not robust enough. What DeepSeek nailed was the reinforcement learning part, which helped them to make some pretty good data sets. But this just seems to be a highly trained version of something like Quen 72B. So, I don't think that it's near DeepSeek V3, but it surely has its own place, but it doesn't even touch DeepSeek V3 for now. Plus, it not being open source is an even bigger bummer. So, if you consider this as a model, then I'd prefer to use Gemini Flash over this, as that is better. Quen has been pretty bad with their benchmarks. The Quen 2.5 coder was pretty much trained on benchmark questions to score high, and it's the same thing here as well. What DeepSeek achieved was raw performance with not much blog post or anything, and pure open weights, while this seems to be just a pretty basic model, and it not being open source is surely a no-go. I won't use it that much, but you can if you wish to. I'd recommend to only use it via the Quen chat interface for some trivial stuff if you have to. Overall, it's pretty cool.